Temperatures have made their way all, all the way up to 93 at this point. So 98 looks like a good bet today. It is officially fall at 804, but we go even hotter tomorrow at 99. That could be into record territory. A few more clouds on Saturday. Still hot though. Frontal boundary Monday. Doesn't really cool us down that much, but it does bring in some drier air. Low humidity by Tuesday and Wednesday. Guys. Thank you, Justin. That's all of our time for now. Thanks so much for joining us for the news at noon. Speaking of records, that uh, beer stein, I think it was like this. Have you ever done that that challenge? No, that's a lot there. I was Oof. just I was just digging on the hot dogs myself. Of course you were. Those look good. It's so lunchtime. SA Live starts right now. I'm holding a beer today, and I said I have some of the best craft breweries in Texas. We'll be in one location this weekend. We get a preview of the Bernie Beer Fest. Plus, prep your hair for fall weather or not so fall weather with easy to do hairstyles using a fun product. And the 90s are back. If you love the 90s, then you'll love a concert happening this weekend featuring top acts of the decade. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Ooh, that's not what I Look at how yummy those are. I'm gonna taste those in a second. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Ostrage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. Well, of course, you know, the Big Give SA begins today, right? Yes, it does. Big Give, uh, if you are, don't know what that's all about, it's a big day for hundreds and hundreds of local charities and nonprofits to uh, look, raising money and all for good causes. And the great thing about it is you can donate. A dollar you can donate as anything to the moon and back. Yes, and all you have to do is go to the biggivesa.org and select which nonprofit you want to donate to and how much you want to donate. And then throughout the day, we are going to be uh, showing you a graphic with some information highlighting just a few of those nonprofits. And again, there are a ton of them there, so um, just be generous yes. if you can. Today's the day. Yep. All right, well, our first guest today is preparing us for fall with seasonal flavors that will also chill us out on these, well, hot fall days, right? Yes, indeed, and joining us are brothers Luis and Omar Arreola, who are the co-owners of Paletas at Dino's. Good afternoon, gentlemen. You brought snacks, we like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so what did you bring? for those who may have missed it a little bit ago. So we brought a few of our more popular ice cream flavors. We have Ferrero Rocher, coffee with Mexican cookies, blueberry cheesecake, and uh, peaches and cream. Uh, we also brought by some ingredients to show you how we make our uh, seasonal pumpkin spice ice cream. Okay, and so these two are the most popular flavors, right? The uh, so these four would probably be our best sellers. Okay. To be completely honest, the coffee with Mexican cookies and blueberry cheesecake would be uh, really uh, probably our best sellers. Okay. The taste. Uh, sure, yeah. Is that this? Which one is this one? The this coffee? coffee? This is the okay, coffee. This is the coffee. And you said this. This is <laughs> like good stuff. It's great stuff. Mm. Okay. Especially if you like the candy. Oh, I can. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That is seriously good. Mm. We're supposed to be interviewing them right now, <laughs> eating so, something. No, it's okay. So, <laughs> anyway, okay, so why open up a Letta and ice cream shop right here in SA? Well, uh, we're both from a bo from the border. Uh, we grew up eating these sorts of snacks. Uh, we just wanted to bring, you know, authentic, good products to the people of San Antonio. Nice. Okay. And so, of course, one of the seasonal flavors, pumpkin spice. Yes, what are we going to be making here? With so this that is going to be our pumpkin spice mix. We have a few different things. We have some. Uh, uh, pumpkin puree, which we actually make uh, in-house. Uh, we also have some ice cream mix, and we have our own special spice blend, which we're going to throw into the mix. Ah, the secret spice blend. Okay. <laughs> and the nice so thing about it, oh. I mean, simple ingredients. You got a handful of things right there. You know, it's fresh fruit, fresh pumpkin puree, right? right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we take a we you know at Palitazinos we use very high quality ingredients. We source all of, we source all of our fruits locally, and uh, like I said, we only like to use the best in our product. Okay. So how'd you guys get started? So we've been doing this for about six months. Um, we used to cater to events, parties, quinceañeras, corporate events, and we finally thought it was time to open to the public as well. So we decided to go for it. It's been about a month since we opened, and you know, this is our first seasonal ice cream, so we're excited. Okay. And all the other flavors, about how many total do you have? So we have about 17 flavors of paletas. <laughs> we have mango chamoy, mango chilito, cucumber mint lime, bubble gum with nerds and coconut. Those are the top paleta flavors. And we have about 14 ice cream flavors. Yes. Bubble gum with nerds? That's right. Oh we we my changed goodness. it up a little. I was I like, that's like a kid's dream right there. Yes. Okay. Let's get All to right. mixing So here. what is the first thing I'm going to put in? So first we're going to throw in our pumpkin puree into the to the mixing bowl. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you want to use a spatula, make sure we get everything in there. Okay. Make sure you pay Splat. attention to this too. <laughs> You're going to love this. Splat. 
<laughs> splat, splat, splat. You do that with such finesse. Don't I? Yes, okay, you do. Okay, there we go. So next we're gonna to wanna to throw in our ice cream mix. All of this? Yes, ma'am. All of <laughs> this is a serious, <laughs> like, measure that, that's greatness, okay. Okay, is this gonna feed like a small army? <laughs> Uh, it creates about uh, two gallons worth of ice cream. Okay. Okay. And then all of the spices and, and goodies. And all of this? Yes, all of that. All so of we that. use uh, cinnamon, we use, uh, sorry, uh, allspice, and we also have some freshly ground nutmeg. Okay. We grind everything in house. We don't use anything that's pre ground. We find that it gives it a better flavor. How are we going to mix that? How on earth? Wonder how. Take a look at this thing. The secret weapon. That's an immersion blender. <laughs> Okay. I don't think we've ever had this on the show. No, I don't think we have. This one's okay. pretty powerful okay. compared to the ones you'll probably see, you know, at your local supermarket. This is, so. this you're, is a you're team wearing, effort. You're wearing the apron. This okay. is a team effort. Okay, I, that's why I'll be closer since Make I have sure the apron. Make sure you hold it now. straight up and down. Yes, too. I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Get, well, get in place. I'm going to. Here, okay. Get <laughs> okay, ready. Here we go. Don't pull it out. Okay. You done? Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 There that smells really, okay. really good. <laughs> Tastes even go. better. Wow, that smells good, amazing. Good job. Where are we okay. Gonna... So after putting it in the ice cream machine, this uh -huh. is our final product. This is the pumpkin? Yes, it is the pumpkin spice ice cream. Oh okay. my goodness. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh. So you guys it's Peter, like right? A yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. okay. so you can bring this to anyone. This. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Oh. You have a brick and mortar as well? Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Okay. So we're located at 2318 uh, North Central Motor Street, but we also uh, cater to events, uh, private and corporate events. Okay. okay, do you like pumpkin pie? Because this would be great on a slice of pumpkin pie. <laughs> this is good stuff. Now, mm. there is a deal you guys are having right now. What is that deal for folks? Yes, ma'am. So we have a buy 10 paletas, get two free uh, if you come into our shop. Uh, and for all uh, great day, SA, uh, sorry, SA Live uh, members, uh, y'all can come by and get a free paleta. How many different? Free paleta. If you say you saw it right here on SA Live, and then of course buy ten paletas and get two free. That's right. How how many samples did you have to do to come up with this? Uh, about a couple. This is one of, one of the more difficult ones we've made, but it was totally worth it. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, thank mm. you so much, no gentlemen. Problem. Thanks for having us on. Oh, for more good. information on Paletas Dinos, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen. That's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well, you know, tasting okay. that pumpkin spice ice cream makes us feel even more like fall. So, you know, what's your perfect fall temperature? Not 99. Ideal. I know. Okay, I'm just okay. saying. All so right, how we'll take you? one, just one. Okay, what's you? Temperature. Nice grammar, Mike. What's you temperature? It's okay, I know what you're, I know yeah. what you're trying to say. 55 degrees. Okay. Sometimes something in the 50s, even okay. lower 50s. I like that, okay? 55, 60, so you can wear a sweater and jacket. What? Yeah. <laughs> About the same thing. Your, your mouth is full of pumpkin spice ice cream. I know. 55 to 60, same? Right around there, yeah. Okay, so we're in ah. the same box. All right, so let us know what is your ideal fall temperature. Uh, let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter, and you may see your answer in the show. I want to see where people shake down. I know. Okay. Some people are going to say below 70 is too cold or something. I know. So you know that. So. I know. Anyway, so we've got dessert right here. Now we're going to kind of eat backwards and go for the main course. Yes. Uh, festival time, of course, is beginning, and our Jen Tobias Dresky is out at the Bernie Beer Fest checking out the event and local breweries. And I heard you had some bratwurst? Bratwurst? Oh. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. I can say it. Yes, <laughs> yes. You have. Yes, you have to have bratwurst, right? Here at a beer fest. By the way, you're talking about temperatures. Wouldn't it be nice if it was 60 degrees this weekend for the Bernie Beer Fest? That's my ideal temperature, but I'm a Texas girl. All right, we're here at Free Room Brewing Company, one of the newest breweries in Bernie, and we're getting a sample of what's to come this Saturday. I have Clayton Klein joining me now. Clayton, hello. Mm -hmm. All right, so you were at Bernie Beer Fest last year. Yes, ma'am. How was it? It was awesome. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about what we have here, because this is what you're going to be serving. Yes. Yeah, so right here we have uh, brat dogs, is what we like to call them, and they're made with a, uh, a German-style bratwurst, uh, and we do ours a little differently with a hill country twist. We like to uh, uh, smoke them with uh, live oak logs, and uh, they're bigger than your traditional American hot dog, um, so they'll definitely fill you up. Each brat is about a third of a pound. What? A yep. third of a pound? Okay, yep. can you serve me one? Yeah, you can. <laughs> I think we're going to build some here. So it's real simple. Uh -huh. you just put your brat in your bun. Get you some sauerkraut. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go first, and then I'll try to copy that. And this is, would you say, a crowd favorite? Oh, uh, it is. It's you very, very popular. Yeah, a beer fest, a German festival, you definitely have to have bratwurst. You, uh, you'd be missing out if you didn't. <laughs> so load it up with sauerkraut. 
And for those who have never really maybe had something like this, how would you describe the flavors? Because I can smell yeah. the it's, meat uh, itself, the way y'all cook it, right? Bratwurst is hard to describe. It's something that you need to try if you've never had it. Uh, you definitely need to try it. Um, it's it's a, it's a German style sausage. Uh, it's 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 very different. There's nothing that really mimics the flavor, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a great paired with really good with mustard, a German mustard. Mm -hmm. um, it's just delicious. And like I said, we smoke ours over oak, so it gives it a little twist That's as well. That's what I smell. It smells mm -hmm. amazing. Yes, ma'am. And people can also order for parties and mm -hmm. barbecue, uh, all kinds of things. Yes, right? ma'am. Yeah. Pines. Yeah. So we're a barbecue restaurant, meat market, and uh, deer processor in Bernie, Texas. Uh -huh. uh, we make a bunch of our own sausages in house. Uh, we make our own bacon as well. Uh, we actually just opened up a, a few months ago our uh, sit-down dining room. Really? So we used to be barbecue to go, so I now we're that. all, yes ma'am. Okay, mm -hmm. well we'll have to head over there after this, right? Okay, so let's talk now Bernie Fest. I'm going to take a bite real quick and tell me all about what people can expect if they're okay. heading out there this Saturday. Awesome, so Bernie Beer Fest is at the Agricultural mm -hmm. Museum and Art Center, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the fifth annual one. Um, there's live music, there's over 30 uh, cra Texas Craft Brewing companies there. There's uh, art displays and there's a bunch of fun competitions as well. Uh, there's a keg toss and then they even have a, <laughs> uh, a stein holding competition, which I um, think you're going to touch on later here. Yes, yep. yes, because let me tell you, those uh, stein, mm -hmm. these steins are pretty heavy and we have two here. So let's go ahead and pick one up, oh, you and goodness. I, because we have people here that are going to do this, okay? I don't think I'll be one of them, but there's rules, right? Like I was yeah. doing this and you, you can't, have to have, yep. you, you can't do that. Yep. You you gotta be straight, locked okay. out. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking already. Okay, well, that's just a sample. Don't worry, I won't be competing, but I'm gonna toss it back to you guys. We're also gonna learn more about the beer here at Free Room Brewing Company. But Fiona and Mike, I have a question for you. Okay. Can you say this word here? Let it's me see it. a German word. Maskrutstemmen? Yeah, Maskrutstemmen. Good try. Well, what, how, how do you pronounce it? Or Moss Krugstein. Moss Krugstein. Wow, you guys are pretty good, actually. There you Moss go. Moss <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. That was pretty good. I'll explain what this has to do <laughs> with our segment in the second half of the show. But for now, I'm going to eat. Okay, back yes. to you guys. More coming up here from Free Room Brewing Company. Whatever you do, don't spill the beer. Moss Krugstein. It's a big beer stein. Is that what that means? That beer stein was beer in general. I know. Was. Your last name is Osterhage. I know. <laughs> And at Worst Fest, they call me Ostahaga, so Ostahaga. like it should be. So. All right, for more information on Bernie Beer Fest, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code there that you see on your screen. You want to read and let me eat? Yes, yes, go ahead. Still Thank ahead, <clears throat> SA Live continues with the 90s. We take you back in time this weekend to the concert event that's bringing back the best of that decade's music. Plus, hairstyles that give your hair a little more volume and are easy to pull off. We're talking in just seconds. Look at that. That's all next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Texas isn't quite ready for the fall weather yet. And all that beautiful hair can get a little bit warm, but mm. regardless of the weather, we have something that's going to make it nice and easy and a lot cooler in this weather, right? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> it's so hot in Texas. Getting it off your neck is just necessary. There's no question about it. Um, and so the Ponyo is such a good product to have because it's non-damaging. It's comfortable, which is mind-blowing for women. And we're used to not being comfortable. So this is very a very cool concept that you, it's just mind-blowing, honestly. And this is Shannon Hill. You've seen mm -hmm. her before from Ponyo and our lovely model Fiona today, <laughs> who's got a lot of very thick, fine hair. Thick. And this will work on all hair types, right? All hair types, curly, fine, thick, all of the, you know, every everyone can wear this, which is amazing. And, and this is it. This That's little it. gizmo right here, yes. it's got copper on the inside. Mm -hmm. Yep, copper on the inside, which is very malleable, so you can bend it so many times, it's not gonna break on you. Mm -hmm. It's you, you, hundreds and hundreds of uses out of one ponio versus a hair tie, which always snap and break. And honestly, break your, your hair. Totally, which is because like, this is gonna be a lot easier on your hair, right? Just bumps sure. in there that'll hold your hair a little it bit better, It holds, right? and instead of you know putting tension on your hair, it hugs your hair, so it makes it so comfortable. And again, we're just, as women, we're just not used to comfort. Mm -hmm. So you just make these two bends, so you bend, 
and you bend and look how thick, not that she needs a thicker ponytail, lucky girl, uh, but it makes your hair look thicker, fuller, and it's very secure. And then that's it. That's it. Okay, and then that's if you, you want to kind of bling it up a little yep. bit, you've got these little... A bling little, ring that you just a, pull. That's what it's called, a bling yep, ring? Yep, it's called it's a bling ring, and you just put it right... That. You're good. You put it right over that ponytail, mm -hmm. and it is magnetic, and it just... Look how beautiful that is. And you've got all sorts of different... Shapes, sizes, colors. colors, If you gold. like gold, I'm a gold girl, so I like rose gold, and they have gold, silver, circle, you know, any style that you like, we have. Now, aside from ponytails, you can do buns, right? Yes, so you can do buns, which is amazing. Uh, right now, fall is all about buns. Mm -hmm. Get it off your neck, get it out of the way. And again, I feel like COVID made us more about comfort, um, which I love. So what you do is you just send your hair in the bun bar, you roll it down towards your face, Mm -hmm. and you just bend it backwards and guys this is pretty incredible and how quickly you can make this perfect bun for weddings date night and you take your fingers you slide it back and you cover that bar so you take it slide slide squeeze and boom you have a easy perfect bun and if you want it bigger you just tug okay and you did that in about 10 seconds, I mean, basically. Seconds. That was nothing. But then, and then, but then so you can work out with this on. Yes. You can swim with this on. It's waterproof. Waterproof. You can sweat in it. Mm -hmm. And again, it's going to stay secure and comfortable. And these are our pins. Mm -hmm. um, they just kind of give a decoration. You can also secure your hair if you don't have super thick hair. But you can just slide it in that bun. Boom. And boom, you've got crystals in your hair. Which and better I than a rubber band love. or a scrunchie or something like that, because it doesn't get all knotty. Tangled, and yeah, and like when it, when you have sweaty hair or wet hair, you know taking it out is impossible without having to either cut it or rip it out and rip your beautiful hair. So these literally, watch this, it's like butter. You just open it, wide into an O shape, and watch this, guys. Same thing if it's wet. Boom, your hair Perfect. is out, no creasing, no tangling, and you just have your hair back to what it was. You have a daughter, can your I husband do, do this? Yes, <laughs> I, I, yes, he absolutely does it, and I make him do ads, and it's hilarious, <laughs> but there are best ads, so I'm gonna make him do it, and he's a trooper, thank okay. goodness. Simple to do for the guys, so. Yes, okay. you've and done it, so I, yeah, you I, know I, how to do it. I have done it on some you of the have. models here, too, so. Yes, absolutely. All right, well, if you'd like more information about Ponyo, head over to salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of of your screen. Shannon, thank you very thank much. Thank you. All right, and the I Love the 90s tour is happening this weekend. Where to find it? And we talked to a member of one of the bands, Color Me Bad. Plus, on sunny days like today, it's a no-brainer how to save yourself some money by going solar in a great business in town that's ready to help you install your solar panels with a special deal. It's all next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, fall begins this evening, but of course, the sun is still shining and the temperatures are like it is still summer. You can still go solar and take advantage of rebates and incentives with Roof Fix. And here to tell us more, our CEO, Dwayne Charping, and Vice President of Marketing, Carl Stone King. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Welcome. Okay. Thanks for having us. Carl, why is it beneficial to invest in solar right now? Two big things right now. One, great. The other, not so great. Good news first. The federal income tax rebate, or excuse me, credit, has mm -hmm. just gone up to 30%. So that is more money you're going to save on your taxes when you invest in solar. And who would rather not invest in their home than give more money to the IRS, is what I always say. Good point. Next thing, the tough news, the CPS rebate. CPS, our local electric provider, they've been paying $2,500 to $3,000 for solar installations. That is going to end in December. So you realistically have until mid-November to sign up and still take advantage of that, that offer. Okay, speaking of the electric company, um, when you look at electric bills, which I know mine the past couple of months, I don't even want to think about them, right. but how can solar help save on that? And this is a copy of your bill? This is one of our customers' one bills. One of the customers, okay. And we came in last time with our other owner, Daniel's bill, and it was about $11. We got an even better one this one. Zero dollars. This person who installed solar paid zero dollars. If you look the year before they had solar, they were billed for 2,656 kilowatt hours. Then we put solar on their roof, 
now they get charged for zero. So all the, that little bar graph there, those are the previous months, and then all of a sudden it just drops down to nothing. Real savings, and this is an investment in your home. You are getting value out of this into your home instead of giving money to CPS. It seems like a really smart investment. So the money you pay here, you pay off the solar, but like you said, that's an investment, and you can get that money back when you sell the yes, home Yes, and it right? is a much smaller payment than what you would pay to CPS, and you're getting something for it, which is great. Okay, wait, why choose RoofFix to put in solar? You know, when a roofing company does solar, that's where all the difference is made. You know, solar companies come out and they'll put so many holes into a roof. And the type of bracket systems that they're using, we see a lot that we have to come out mm -hmm. and repair. And it's a simple, small screw in a bracket that goes right into the roof and they're putting about 200 of those. Oh, they, these hold the solar panels then? Correct. Okay. And when a roofing company is going to install solar, we're going to put a detailed flashing system with a lot bigger of an anchor that actually gets secured into the mainframe of the home. So that almost looks like a kind of a shingle type thing. Is that That's right. sort of with your shingles? Yeah, because it's going to be incorporated under the shingle, then the bracket locks on, and there's no way for the solar to leak. This is what a roofing company would use when installing solar. Plus, we can move all the pipe vents and everything, so we're not playing Tetris on your home, mm -hmm. and you get a clean, beautiful solar system that works. Okay, and you have a special deal for SA Live viewers right now, right? Absolutely. Right now, we're giving away a free generator with any purchase of solar, and you know that offer is limited, and your rebates first are 10 limited. Callers. So it's the first 10 callers. $300 prepaid gas card, too. Don't forget that. That's right. That's been so, a big favorite. Lately. All sorts of fantastic deals. Well, once again, just to sum that up, first 10 people to call will get a portable generator with their installation of solar and a $300 prepaid fuel card. Just call 210-FIX-ROOF. That's 210-349-7663. And for more information, visit the website, rooffixsa.com. Dwayne, Carl, thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you for having Thank us. you. All right, we're here in Bernie preparing for the Bernie Beer Fest, and that includes a Stein holding contest. There's some rules that we need to follow. I don't know if I'm breaking them right now, but we're going to give this a try. We got a lot of people ready. That's coming up on SA Live. Uh, I suggest you lighten the load, Jen. Drink a little bit there. And if you love the 90s music as much as we all do, then we have the perfect event for you this weekend. Top musicians from the 90s are coming to Bernie. We're chatting with Color Me Bad about the concert that's next. like you did in high school? Well, if you love the 90s, then you're really gonna love the lineup for the latest edition of the I Love the 90s Arena Tour. And they'll be here this Saturday in Bernie. And joining us now to help us reminisce about the trend-setting decade is singer-songwriter Mark Calderon from Color Me Bad. Hey there. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> All right, so you were born in Los Angeles, but raised in Oklahoma City, right? You still have family there? Sure. Correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's uh, it's been a great time, a great place to live, a great place to raise a family. Oklahoma City. I got all, all the love in the world for it. That traffic's probably better too, right, than in LA. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the tour, you know, has just continued to be a success even after a hiatus, of course, due to the pandemic. I mean, fans just can't wait to party like they did back in the day, right? You know, the 90s music has so much, oh my gosh, it's such a great vibe. People like to party to it. It's a great, great way for everybody to get together, reminisce the great times, the great music. The fans still come out and enjoy the music. So, man, we just get all, got all the love for everybody. You know, can't wait to come out there to Bernie, uh, Texas. Yes, it's gonna be a great and, and you know, like you said, I mean, '90s nostalgia. I mean, it's so big right now, and you know, it was a time where you know we we remember a time before everyone had a cell phone, and when you listen to music in your cars or you know in your room on your stereo or your boombox, right? So yeah. it's a chance for those fans to really kind of reconnect and reminisce no doubt you know i mean you know a lot of people when they come out to the shows they get dressed up in their 90s outfits you know they think about the good times when they were in high school i mean we're going back 30 years now but those are the good times those, it's the good music it's the great music the 90s is the best decade of music i've always said and i think a lot of people agree with me on that all right let's talk about the lineup what can fans expect you know, I mean, it's going to be a great lineup. Uh, 
Vanilla Ice, Color Me Bad, Young MC, Coolio, Rob Bass. I mean, we got some of the great artists of the 90s. We've been doing this for a while now, and we're so excited to get back to you guys. Texas is always a great place to come and play. They got so much love for the 90s music. So if you're a big fan of the 90s, come on out to the I Love the 90s show. I believe it's Saturday night, right? It absolutely is. It's okay. Saturday night right there at the Roundup in Bernie. So what's it like kind of touring with everyone today as opposed to, <clears throat> you know, like when we were younger? <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, the parties aren't as, as much as they used to be, you know. <laughs> everybody's grown up. Everybody's got families. Everybody's got a lot of things going on. You know, they like to just get out there, put on a good show. Um, you know, everyone's got so much respect for everybody. Everyone gets along. It's just a great time. You know, we all enjoy each other's music. So it's good. It's a good vibe. You know, so many great songs, you know, from Coloring Bad, like All for Love, of course, The Earth, you know, The Sun, The Rain, I Adore Mi Amor. Can you tell us real quickly, you know, we're almost out of time, just about recording, you know, that bilingual song? You, you know, I mean, it was a time, uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, we met them and they told us, they saw the group, they heard us sing, they said, you know what, you guys need to write a song in English and Spanish. So we actually went back to Oklahoma City, we wrote a song in English and Spanish, and I Adore Mi Amor. That's, that, was, that was the song. And I just, before we go, I want to let everybody else out there know that we've got two new releases. A song called uh, Close to Heaven that's going to be released tomorrow. Go check it out. Also, California Dreaming. Go check it out. It's on all music platforms. We'll see you Saturday night in Bernie, Texas. Much love, everybody. Oh, Mark, thank you so much. The I Love the 90s tour is happening this Saturday at the Roundup in Bernie. Of course, the show is at 8 p.m. Doors at 6. For more information, you know what to do. Just head to our website, essaylive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Brats, beer, and Stein holding too. Patrick, you okay? I'm doing all right. I mean, I. Uh, oh no! Okay. Just open your mouth. Just okay. open your mouth and lean okay. back. You're fine. All right, we have that coming up here on SA Live. We're getting a preview of Bernie Beer Fest. All right, I hope you're okay. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, we are now in festival and going into holiday season, <laughs> despite the fact that it doesn't feel like fall on this right. first day of, well, fall right. begins tonight. And of course, with all the festivals going on, Beer Fest. <laughs> yes, and that's where our Jen Tobias Trusky is right now, live with a preview of one of the biggest beer fests in the area happening this weekend. Hey there, Jen. Das Krugenstammen. Yes, there it is. Okay, he said Hello. Okay. Yeah, wait, say it again. Say it again, Mike. Mas Krugenstammen. That was close, but actually I found out the ST is actually SHT, so it's Mas Krugenstammen, right? Schemen? Okay, I probably ruined that. But here's what's really more important. This word means a group that gets together and does stein holding. So now we learned something, right? We learned some German. Okay, Brandon Phillips, co-owner here at Free Room Brewing Company, joins me now. And we have a contest, right? That's yeah, about to start here. Absolutely. Should we stein get them holding. started while yeah, we talk? Absolutely. Okay. So everybody here is ready to go. We have our timer. Kirk over there will be timing this. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get you started. Go ahead. Okay, these are really heavy, by the way. So we'll see how they do, and we'll check in with them in a minute. But first, let's talk about Free Room Brewing Company, because you're a big part of Beer Fest. Yeah. But for those who have never been, because you're not even a year old. Yeah, we, we opened here in March of, of this year. We we're about, what, seven, eight months old now. Um, and it's been nothing but amazing for us. We've been involved in a lot of community projects and mm -hmm. being part of the community. And that's what it's really about for us is giving back to the community, being part of the community, and just having a good time. Yes, quality beer. You have music. You have a yeah, nice area in the back. Yeah, absolutely. The weather does get cooler. Yeah, right? we, we do free music pretty much every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we have. Um, our beer garden are out back with this really cool stage that's a you know 1950s truck that we converted into nice. a stage. We've got seating for everybody. We've got plenty of activities. We just bought a bunch of new games, uh, yard games, <laughs> washers, uh, cornhole, all the good stuff you know that that you want to do that kind of keeps your kids entertained and keeps you entertained at the yes, same time. Fun for everybody of yeah, all ages. Absolutely. Now we're back out here live. You can see. How are you guys doing? Signal me. Okay. Now do you know the, do you know the rules, Brandon? 
Yeah, yeah. Right. so, so the, rule, the rules is you gotta have your hand straight out, elbows locked, no thumbs on top of the handle, uh, your feet about 12 inches apart, um, <laughs> And the second you spill a drop, you're out. Ooh, the second and you spill, so, okay. Uh, I see some faces see in there struggling Oh, right okay, now, so. one went down, that's yeah, okay. It's, good it's job, good. yes, I heard the record is 19 minutes, and we're right. at a minute 40 now that they've been holding this. Good <laughs> job, guys. Oh, wait, we got another one going down. Okay, let's talk about the beer fest. This is happening from 11 to 7 p.m. Yeah, this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, the 24th, we've been working on it for about six months now. 11 to 7, like you said, we're gonna have about 30 breweries out there from all over uh, this this part of Texas, San Antonio, Blanco, Austin, Bandera, um, and of course Bernie. We've got we got a ton of breweries from Bernie, and and the beer scene in Bernie is just exploding. You know, and and, and people may not know that you can actually walk around and have yeah, that's, your beer. Yeah, that's that's one of the best parts about the city is you you can take your beers to go and walk on the Hill Country Mile. Oh, uh, don't stop, guys! With with, with <laughs> 16 ounce pints all day long. So the, the best part about it is you can go from brewery to brewery. Cibolo Creek's right down the yes. street. Tusculum's right here. Everybody's in a cool little area. And you have your uh, VIP garden. Yeah. You guys are doing great, but yeah. okay, we got a little shakes there. Okay. One of one of the highlights of this year's beer festival is we're gonna um, we're gonna be having uh, us, Free Run Brewing Company and Alamo Beer Company have both set up uh, VIP beer gardens. When it's a VIP beer garden, it's not, you don't have to have a special ticket. It's for everybody. We're just giving nice. people- a different experience. Yeah, a different experience. We're gonna have, we're gonna have six different beers on draft. Alamo's gonna have six di different beers on draft. Real Ale will be out there, Nomadic Beer Works. All, all the all the fun breweries are, are gonna be oh there, having a good time. All right. So. Well, a good time indeed. <laughs> oh, you're doing some amazing, right? What is he at? Three? minutes, 20 seconds, and you guys, oh, look at, you just, not even shaking. Yeah. That ain't Colton, right, what'd you do? Colton's calm, oh, cool, right. calm and collected. All right, be on a mic, back to you, we're having a good time. I may, I may try now, right? Now that it's over. <laughs> back to you. Bring in for the win, oh, wait, wait, so. All right. Who won? Who won? No way! <laughs> Bringing it home for the free room. He's the winner. <laughs> good job. Right, that glass yes. so <laughs> good job, oh my goodness, I'm impressed, he's still going. Yeah. All right. Now comes the chugging Bros. contest. Bros. Yes, the drinking, yes. the drinking contest. Oh, that and that hot dog. The sorry. Oh my goodness yes. gracious. Anyway, hey, uh, the Bernie Beer Fest is going on this Saturday, 11 a.m., 7 p.m. at the Agricultural Museum and Art Center. Tickets are $35, and you'll be able to sample 30 Texas craft beers. Yum. For more information, you know what to do. Head to our website. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, love your smile. Get the smile that you've always wanted with a life-changing procedure from Dr. Monadas. How he's changing lives next. How would you like to have no tooth pain or cavities ever again? One local doctor and his team are helping to change lives one smile at a time. And here with us today are Dr. Alfonso and Yesenia Monadas from Stone Ridge Dental. Welcome, welcome, okay? They are the team behind the fabulous smiles, all right? Thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you. for having us. All right, Dr. Monadas, for those who aren't familiar, what is the all on four procedure and how is it done? Sure, the dental four procedure is a very specialized technique that uh, allows us to replace all the teeth in somebody's mouth with dental implants in a very short amount of time. Usually patients come in the morning, we, we uh, give them anesthesia, they sleep, and by the end of the day, they go out with new teeth and a beautiful smile. This is wonderful for those patients that have suffered a lot because they'll never have a cavity again and they'll never have a dental problem. And so that is, of course, what makes it so special, that procedure all on four. And why do patients turn to that versus, say, dentures? You know, Fiona, for centuries, patients that had the necessity to replace all their teeth, they had very few options. One, to suffer, two, to have no teeth, or have a denture. Neither one is a really good option, right? The all on four replaces all the teeth, and, and it's the best we have to mimic nature. It gives the patients a set of teeth that's fixed and looks, feels, and functions like natural teeth again. It doesn't cover the roof of their mouth. There's no plastic. It doesn't fly out when they sneeze or yawn right. or whistle, and it just gives them confidence. It's like having teeth again, uh, so it's wonderful. 
And Yesenia, when you see your patients with their new dream smile, I mean, how do you feel knowing that you've given them, you know, a renewed sense of hope? It's, I think, the most beautiful and rewarding feeling because I think uh, the smile, it's one of the most important social bonding gesture. So for that, we want to help our patients have their smile back and help them um, improve their health and their life in a, in a positive way. Absolutely. And tell us about some of the patients that you help. So the first patient that we have, she's a beautiful lady that was being held back because of her dental condition. She didn't like her smile, had many dental problems, came to us. We replaced her teeth with dental implants, and now she looks beautiful, happier, healthier. Look at that beautiful smile. The next one is a gentleman that, as you can, as you can see, he had worn down teeth. So he's smiling in the first picture. You can even see the teeth, the lips are together, the bite is collapsed. So we replaced his teeth with dental implants because there was nothing to fix. And now he looks amazing. He looks younger, happier, and just a totally different person. Our last patient, it's, she's a beautiful lady, uh, didn't like her smile, had um, many dental problems as well. She was not living her life at the fullest because of her smile. Now she's confident, she's smiling, loves her, her, her smile, and she enjoys life at the fullest. Absolutely, because it's got, it's got to make you feel so incredibly different. And the first 10 people to call Stone Ridge Dental right now will get the Love Your Smile offer from Dr. Monades. It includes a free, complete smile consultation for $350. The number to call is 210-864-9622. And for more information, visit ImplantsSanAntonio.com. Come on, I say live, corn in a cup has come a long way. We check out San Antonio's first corn bar and how they're coming up with brand new ways to enjoy it. Plus, musician Chris Perez has some new and exciting things happening. We're gonna tell you why he's teaming up with comedian George Lopez and how he's still inspired by Selena. We catch up with him tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. Earlier, we asked you, what's your ideal fall temperature? It's gonna be interesting. Okay. 65 for Rachel, a little warmer than, than our mid 50s uh, preference. Not above 80. Not oh, above Peter, 80. even warmer. Mid, mid 50s, 50s Valerie, Valerie's yes. on our island. Yep. 70s would be nice. Well, maybe a little cooler. Please, maybe. <laughs> I can go with yeah. that. I yeah. can agree with that from Rachel. Yeah. 60s, uh -huh. low 60s. You put it light jacket, and then yeah, and then it cools off at night. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Nice cup of something warm. It's going to be 99. Fall begins tonight at 8. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's going to be 99 again tomorrow. Ooh. Enjoy fall. Ooh.